In this video, we'll learn how to find the angles between two lines in 3D. And before we do that, let's recap how we used to do things in the vector world. So how do we find the angle between two vectors? Let's say we have these two lines and we have these two points on these lines, P and Q. This is the origin. So let's form two vectors, OP vector and OQ vector. We want to find the angle between these two vectors, that's theta. So how do we do that? We use the dot product. The dot product of these two vectors, OP vector and OQ vector, this is mod of OP vector, mod of OQ vector times cos of theta. We rearrange this, we get cos of theta equals to the mod of the dot product divided by the product of their magnitudes. So this is how we can get the angle between these two vectors. And if you know these points, if the point P is A1, B1, C1 and Q is A2, B2, C2, we have these two vectors, OP vector and OQ vector. So OP vector is A1, I cap plus B1, J cap plus C1, K cap and OQ vector that's A2, I cap plus B2, J cap plus C2, K cap. Now to use this formula, we need the magnitude and we need the dot product. So let's first find the magnitude. Magnitude of OP vector, that's square root of A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square. Similarly, magnitude of OQ vector, that's square root of A2 square plus B2 square plus C2 square. And what's the dot product? That's going to be A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2. So the dot product is A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2. Now we have all the ingredients, we can find the angle. Cos of theta, that's equal to the dot product divided by the square root of their magnitudes. So if you know these two vectors, OP and OQ, we can figure out the dot product. Now how can we use this to get the angle between two lines? Let's look at two lines. Let's first look at them in the vector form. If we have two lines, R vector equals to A1 vector plus lambda B1 vector and R vector equals to A2 vector plus lambda B2 vector, how do we find the angle between these two? This first line passes through A1 and is parallel to B1. This second line passes through A2 and is parallel to B2. Now the answer is already on the screen. Pause the video, figure out how we do this. Okay. Now think about it. The angle between these two lines will be the same as the angle between B1 vector and B2 vector. This line is parallel to B1 vector. This line is parallel to B2 vector. So the angle between these two will give us the angle between the lines and we already know how to find the angle between vectors. So the angle between these two lines is same as the angle between B1 vector and B2 vector. So let's apply that cos of theta that's equal to mod of the dot part of B1 and B2 divided by magnitude of B1 vector times magnitude of B2 vector. So A1 and A2 are not important here. Our angle does not depend on the points through which these two lines pass. It depends on the direction of these two lines. It depends on B1 vector and B2 vector. And how do we do this in the Cartesian form? Let's look at that as well. If our lines are x minus x1 by a1 equals to y minus y1 by b1 equals to z minus z1 by c1, that's our first line. Our second line is x2, y2, z2, a2, b2, c2. Now how do we get the angle between two lines if we have them in the Cartesian form? Pause the video, think about it. Okay. Again, the points through which these lines pass, the numerators are not important. We're only concerned with the denominators. Here the direction ratios of B1 vector are A1, B1 and C1 and the direction ratios of B2 vector are A2, B2 and C2. So that's what we'll use. The dot product will be A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2. That's the numerator. And their magnitudes will be root of A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square. That's the first vector times root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square, that's the second vector. So this formula, this is what we'll use in the Cartesian form and this is what we'll use in the vector form. Let's practice. Okay, find the angle between the pair of lines given in the vector form. r vector equals to 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 4k cap plus lambda i cap plus 2j cap plus 2k cap, that's our first line and the second line is r vector equals to 5i cap minus 2j cap and mu we changed from lambda to mu mu times 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 6k cap so pause the video try this out okay let's do this together we only have to look at the vectors that are parallel to these lines so if we look at b1 vector that's i cap plus 2j cap plus 2k cap 
and we look at B2 vector, that's 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 6k cap. These points are not important. So the angle between these two lines is the angle between these two vectors. And we can find that using the dot product. So cos of theta equals to mod of b1 vector dot b2 vector, the dot product on top, and the denominator will have the magnitudes of these two vectors. So let's find these values. The dot product is 1 times 3 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 times 6. So that's 3 plus 4 plus 12. That's the numerator. The denominator will be square root of 1 plus 4 plus 4 times square root of 9 plus 4 plus 36. So that's the denominator. Let's simplify. 3 plus 12, 15 plus 4, 19 divided by root of 9, that's 3, root of 49, that's 7. So this is 19 by 21. Cos of theta is 19 by 21. So theta is cos inverse 19 by 21. That's the angle between these two lines. Let's solve a problem in which we have Cartesian form. So find the angle between the pair of lines. So line 1 and line 2. Line 1 is x plus 3 by 3 equals to y minus 1 by 5 equals to z plus 3 by 4. And line 2 is x plus 1 by 1 equals to y minus 4 by 1 equals to z minus 5 by 2. Pause the video, try this out. Okay, again, we're not looking at the points, so we'll ignore the numerators. We'll only look at the denominators. The direction ratios of the vector that's parallel to this line 1, that's 3, 5, and 4. So the direction ratios for line 1 are 3, 5, and 4. Similarly, direction ratios for line 2 will be 1, 1, and 2. Now we need the dot product. So cos of theta, that's a1, a2, plus b1, b2, plus c1, c2. That's 3 times 1, plus 5 times 1, plus 4 times 2. And the denominator will be square root of 3 square plus 5 square plus 4 square, times square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. So these values will look like this. 3 times 1 is 3. 5 times 1 is 5, 4 times 2 is 8, that's the numerator. The denominator is square root of 9 plus 25 plus 16 times square root of 1 plus 1 plus 4. So let's simplify. This is 11 plus 5, 16 divided by 25 plus 25, that's 50. Root of that is 5 root 2 times root of 6. We can take root 2 times root 2, that's 2, and cancel that out. So the numerator is 8 divided by 5 root 3. And we can rationalize this. This is 8 root 3 by 15. So our theta, that's cos inverse 8 root 3 divided by 15.